Hello everyone, this is Eyeball, otherwise known as Drone, and a few other aliases. I'm here to talk to you about um, complications that one of my favorite games has been having. Now, if you've ever heard of the game Natural Selection, you know that the game has been out for a long time. It's based off of the uh, Half-Life engine, and a lot of people have been having a lot of problems with uh, Vista and Windows 7, including that like problems with brightness and contrast. And and gamma and just stuff like that. Now the simple fact of the matter is, Windows Seven, uh, I should say, Natural Selection is compatible with Windows Seven, but up to a certain point. Now Half Life itself has video problems and is not fully compatible with Windows Seven. Therefore, Natural Selection is not as well. Now. I've heard a lot of different kind of workarounds, and I've pretty much tried just about everything. I've been going nuts on this, and it's been driving me crazy, because it's like, I can't even play Natural Selection anymore because of, like, how dark it is. I mean, like, I'll show you in a second, like, how ridiculous this is, and I know a lot of people have been having this problem. Natural Selection is a really fun game. And if you haven't tried it, play it now. It's really fun. Um, it is starting to die, but that's only because Natural Selection 2 is coming out very, very soon, hopefully. And hopefully they'll obviously fix that problem. And so I'm just going to show you how to fix the brightness problem in Natural Selection 1 for Windows 7. And I'm pretty sure that this will also work for Vista. Okay. Let's get started. Hey everybody, it's Natural Selection right here. One of my most favorite games. Not that great at it, but you know, I'm still learning. Basically what's going on is, um, I'm just going to show you my settings right now. This is video. Now my brightness and gamma are pretty much turned up all the way. But as you can see from the game, it's actually really dark and it's really hard to see. Um, just going to show you a little preview of what's going on. Now this is Windows 7. This is an issue that a lot of people are having, and a lot of people have their own workarounds. I'm playing with my friend um, uh, Stilgar, one of my close friends, so we're just going to play together. He's going to completely own me, just as a demonstration. So let's uh, start it up. Now, right now, I'm on Marines. Game's going to start in a couple seconds. I just told him to own me. Just, just a demonstration. Uh, Stilgar. So just uh, sneak up on me and own me, just to show that I can't fucking see in this game. So even if, if you look in the shadows over here, it's all really dark. Because I should just sneak up on him. Stay in one place. show you how to fix this. <sighs> wow. That was just ridiculous. As you can see, that game was like way too dark. It's almost impossible to really play. Um, that was a, kind of like a bad example. Now, obviously, during an actual game, everything's going to be going a lot faster. Uh, the aliens are going to be going through the shadows a lot more. Now, typically, when I used to play, like when they go in the shadows and they try to sneak up on me, I can't even see where they are. It was ridiculous. Now, I've heard a lot of different kind of, like, workarounds. The most popular one being, um, um, C ch going into your config files and changing, uh, CL gamma ramp to zero. I tried that. Didn't do anything for me. I'm pretty sure I'm missing something. But the way I see it is not a lot of people who are especially like newbies to computers, they're not going to want to go around changing scripts on their computer and stuff. 
and I'm pretty sure it's easy, but I mean, hey, I, I love code, I love coding, but not everybody is a big fan of it. So, um, I went on natural selection forums, and one of the people that posted, they sent, they gave me a link to a program that was just amazing. It was just so easy to use. And literally, I turned it on, I pressed one button, and boom, all my troubles were fixed. Um, thank you to that person, and I'm just going to be showing you what he gave me. Now, uh, this link is already going to be like it's supplied. If you look at your um, the video description list, which I think now is at the bottom of the screen. It's been a while since I used YouTube, so it's different than the way they have it now. But um, th it's this is the website www.ensl.org uh, it's the European uh, Na Natural Selection League um, file uh, sorry dot org slash files 1395 um, now you don't have to be registered to use this thank you um, it's called gamma panel just a really simple application I I'm once again I'm gonna assume that you know how to use a zip file, you just extract it and open up the contents. Um, so you just click download and you're gonna let it download. I already downloaded it so I don't need it. Alright, so when you um, when you see it, you're gonna see um, the exe file looks kind of like the uh, butterfly from the old MSN days. So you just run it and everything's gonna be good. Now I'm using Windows 7 so I have it already pinned to my taskbar because I love it so much. So I'm going to open it, even though it's already open. Now, um, this is what it's going to look like. Now, this looks kind of complicated. Well, not really complicated, just that, like, do you think it's going to take like, a lot of fooling around? Luckily, they already have profiles, so you can pretty much just see it. Now, what I love about it is that they have hotkeys. Thank you. Now, I'm just gonna show you the two different profiles that come um, pre like pre done with it. There's uh, extra and bright. Now for some reason extra is the default. I don't know why it's named extra. I mean you can easily just call it something else if you wanted to, but they named it extra, so that's the default. Just remember F9 is your default. Your bright one now it's called F10. Now the whole point of this program is that it changes the brightness settings on your actual computer now obviously this isn't meant to be used for you know using your computer just to surf and stuff this is purely just for the natural selection or any other games that you have problems with the darkness um, now you can easily just go into your control panel settings and do all this really quickly but what I love about this is even when this is minimized all I have to do is press F9 or F10 to go back and forth one simple press of a button it's easy it's, it makes everything so much faster now I'm gonna turn it on and we're gonna go back to that game with my friend and um, now I'm just going to show the uh, big difference of it. So I'm going to turn it back on by pressing F10. Now remember, it's minimized right here. It's still there. So just F10, and then when you're done, F9 to go back. But we're going to play some um, natural selection, so I'm going to press F10. Alright, obviously you can see a huge improvement. Everything is much brighter. There's high. It's a lot easier to see. Now I can see that fucking bastard. That I just completely own him. Now, if I walk th around here, you can just see all the different things. Now, that dark area that I showed you, I'm just gonna go up to it again. Much better. This is something that you can actually play with. So, uh, one second. Yeah, I got a mic, but uh, I can't hear you. Do you. Are you using a mic? Well, anyways, that's the end of this video. I mean, for the natural selection bit of it. Alright, you could definitely see a huge difference with that game. I mean, everything was a lot brighter. It was a lot easier to see. It 
made everything so much better. When I started playing natural selection, I was actually getting a lot better at it because I could actually see. What I would love to do is learn how to play aliens because the way that I see it is marines are cool and all, but I mean, if you want to be good at the game, you have to um, be good at aliens. That's my personal opinion. I mean, I would love to be one of those kick-ass fades that just destroy everything. I mean, there's this one kid in the server I play in. His name is Durr. When he plays Fade, he's usually like 90 kills and 3 deaths. I gotta admit, that's pretty cool. Uh, anyways, more to the point. I hope you liked my video. Um, if you have any questions at all about how things work or just whatever it is, just you know, feel free to contact me. This has been another video by me. So um, have a good day. Thank you for watching.